Namaste friends. Do you know that these weather phenomena are known for their far-reaching impact on global climate pattern? And we will be exploring what they are and how they differ and why they matter. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Dibbosphere. Friends, today we have an exciting topic to discuss which is still scientist trending topic worldwide. To start off, let's clarify what ENSO actually means. These are opposite phases of a climate pattern known as the El Nino Southern Oscillation or ENSO for short. When ocean currents are flowing towards west, it is La Nina. When ocean currents are flowing towards east towards Peru coast, it is known as El Nino. ENSO is a naturally occurring phenomena that involves the interaction between the ocean and the atmosphere in the tropical Pacific Ocean. Now we will discuss El Nino formation. During El Nino, warm ocean water in the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean expands towards the Americas. These warming of sea surface temperatures has significant impacts on global weather patterns. Now let's talk about the impacts of El Nino. Effects in Peru coast due to El Nino are marine loss, sometimes gets flood. Due to the sudden temperature rises in Peru coast, people those who are living that places, they are facing lot of difficulties. When El Nino occurs, it can bring about various disruptions in weather and climate patterns around the world. For example, El Nino is often associated with increased rainfall in some regions especially in South America, leading to flooding, while other areas like India, Australia and South Asian countries may experience drought conditions. Friends, in addition, El Nino can influence the behavior of the jet stream, leading to more severe storms, hurricanes, and even changes in temperature and precipitation pattern in region as far away as North America. Now let's discuss La Nina. In contrast, during La Nina, cooler than average sea surface temperatures in the same region can be observed. This leads to its own set of distinct weather patterns and impacts. Now let's switch gears and talk about the impact of La Nina. During La Nina, we often see a strengthening of the trade winds and cooler ocean temperatures in the tropical Pacific, especially in the western part of Pacific Ocean, India, South Asian countries, they receive flood. In the opposite side in South America, the countries like Peru, Chile, they received drought. La Nina can lead to an increase in hurricane activity in the Atlantic Basin. So why do El Nino and La Nina matter? These phenomena have far-reaching consequences that affect not only weather patterns but also agriculture, economies and ecosystems around the world. For example, knowing when an El Nino or La Nina event is like to occur can help governments, farmers and businesses prepare for the associated risk and opportunities. Furthermore, understanding this phenomena is crucial for climate scientists who study long-term climate trends and the effects of climate change. Friends, so there you have it, a closer look at El Nino and La Nina, two fascinating climate phenomena that play a significant role in shaping our world. Remember that while these events can bring challenges, they also offer opportunities for scientific research, preparedness and adaptation. We reach at the end of the session. Thank you for choosing the Bosphere as your learning companion. Until next time, keep wondering and keep watching. We'll meet very soon.